Hello everyone, I'm Luke and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you another recap video for the movies that I have seen between the months of August and November. And the reason why I didn't post any movie reviews for these movies individually is for two reasons. One, August was dead. I posted a compilation video of the movies I saw between the months of um, April and July, and there's a link in the description if you want to watch that if you haven't already, but August was so dead in terms of no major movies that were coming out that month, and then December, uh, uh, not December, September was such slim, had such slim pickings when it came to movies. Now, of course, it became such a global phenomenon, but I did not see that movie because I don't like horror films. So the only movies I really saw between the months of September, October, and the first week of November were American Assassin, which was, I thought it was a decent film. It wasn't anything to write home about. It wasn't, it wasn't a movie that was worth reviewing on its own. It was a good film, it just wasn't a great movie. And then Kingsman the Golden Circle, I was so looking forward to this movie because I loved the first one so much, but the sequel just did not have the same caliber of uh, excellence as the first one did. The first movie was so tightly wound in its action sequences, in its characters, in its comedy, and the sequel was just very all over the place. It had great moments and great characters, but it's not nearly as good as the first one, needless to say. I also saw, oh my gosh, I, I can't believe I sat through this, but it was because I was invited to the movies to watch this one. But Boo 2, A Medea Halloween, is just as bad as the critics said that it was. It was the most painful film I have ever had to sit through. I thought the first one was cheesy and enjoyable. This one was just downright awful. Nothing redeemable about the sequel whatsoever. But the only movie that I really want to talk about in this video is Thor Ragnarok. And what a film. What a fantastic, action-packed, colorful, roller coaster, comedic superhero ride. It was absolutely breathtaking. It was just one of those films that you sat in the theater. Um, my brother and I went to go see the movie. We had our ice cream that we got and everything, and we had popcorn, and it was incredible. And um, Taika Waititi really did a fantastic job directing this movie, and I hope that he has a, a big, bright future with more movies, because he's a fabulous director. Chris Hemsworth shines in the lead role of Thor, obviously. He's been at it for so many years, and he's been doing a great job, but this is the best version of Thor that I've ever seen in any of the movies. Um, Taika Waititi really got Thor um, with this movie. And while even while Thor may be the star, Kate Blanchett steals the entire film. She plays the villain, Hel uh, Hela, and she's so deliciously sinister and wicked and cruel and all-powerful, and you just loved to watch her on screen. She was fantastic. Mark Ruffalo was great in the movie as uh, both uh, the Hulk and Bruce Banner. Tom Hiddleston, I wish he had more to do, but Loki is always a fun character to watch. Um, Jeff Goldblum, once again, like Kate Blanchett, stole every scene that he was in. And even Tessa Thompson did such a great job as Valkyrie. I loved her performance in that movie. So, um, if I had to give these movies grade ratings, I would say that American Assassin is like a B, B-, minus. Kingsman is a solid C, Boo 2 is an F, and Thor Ragnarok is an A. Um, it was so fantastic. It was really, really good. I just loved all the elements about that film, from the cinematography, to the characters, to the music. The soundtrack was gorgeous. And um, I'm sorry that I didn't post any full reviews, but as I said, with the exception of Thor, none of those movies really warranted their own movie reviews. But November is going to be a great uh, month for film. I'm seeing Murder on the Orient Express tomorrow, um, which is going to be Thursday the 9th, and my review will go up on Friday morning. Um, and then the week after that, I will be seeing both Justice League and Wonder, and I will be reviewing both of those films. And then for Thanksgiving, uh, Coco from Pixar will be coming out. And then, of course, December has Star Wars The Last Jedi 
and the greatest showman on earth. And so thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon for notifications for when those reviews will be coming out soon. I've got a really big announcement and a big surprise coming for all of you in the first week of December. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.